Okay guys, welcome back to the to-do list app and today we're gonna actually add removal. So if you slide the cell that you added, we're gonna go ahead and remove that cell. So in order to do that, so we're gonna have um, a table view has an editing style and we're gonna go ahead and say a switch here and the switch will it is an editing style that comes in right here, editing style. And I'm gonna go and switch on that editing style and I'll say if it's a delete, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of actions. One action I wanna do is I wanna get and remove my, the index, uh, the index of my array where it matches the cell index. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that list of items dot remove at right remember we discussed this when we were talking about uh, lists so now you know everything that's great so I'm going to say index back dot row and now we'll remove that and now I want to say table view delete rows so I'm going to go remove that row at index path so I'm just going to type in index path here and I'm going to say I'm gonna do a fade. This is the animation. Then I'm gonna reload the table view. Cause now I've done everything. We might not be. We might not need to reload it. Cause I think it does it automatically. So, and this default is just break. So if I run this, you know, I should be able now to actually remove when I sw swipe. So if I were to add something, just add grocery, grocery type, and then this will add the Maddie lab, and I want to remove it. Just go like that, and it's done. See? If I add more, just add whatever. Doesn't have a type. House. Shopping, yes, shopping works. Then delete and remove that one. Perfect. So we have a to do list app almost. So, what do we want to add in a to do list app now? It's a custom cell. So, instead of using this cell that we had here, I want to use a custom cell. So, in order to have custom cell, we need to do a couple of things. Uh, first, we need to sell uh, this type. We need actually a view uh, to for it to work. So we need actually a, a cell. We need to create a cell. In order to create a cell, we just go here and go right click and click on new file and say Coco Touch and click on next. And we're gonna say we want a UI table view cell. And we're gonna say it's us gonna be a cell of item item cell. Okay, and we're gonna say it's Swift and go next, and then we're gonna save it and click on create. And now we have a cell, and now we want two variables for this one. What we want is the name, a name of, and that's a text. So we want a text field for name, right? So this cell will have a text field. Just go ahead and create a text field. It, I'm sorry, it's a label. So we have a label for the what do you call it? The name field and UI label. So that's a label and. We can do this in storyboard, so we can go in and just do this and create a label. The best way to do this is actually use a nib. Uh, so I can show you how to do that. So what you do is you create a nib. 
and it would it, it was telling you to create a nib when you created the uh, cell but we can create our nib uh, ourselves to so file new uh, we're gonna say file and now we can create a nib and nibs are here right here so this is a nib and um, let's make sure this is a nib yeah so this is a nib that is gonna contain our our uh, cell so I'm just gonna say as uh, what is it um, item cell I'm just gonna go create and now this item cell nib has um, it's kind of like a, it's like a storyboard but it's it's a nib so I want it to have a cell so I'm just going to delete this view I don't need a view I just need a UI table view cell there you go and now I want to design this cell right so I want to go ahead and design it I'm going to say um, I'm going to have a label and I have another label so I'm going to say a name item name item name There's another label. I can just click on the label and click Command C, Command V, and copy it. So I have this. We can make this a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and click on here, and um, we can. See, yeah, there you go. So we can create this bigger item name and. item type okay so then let me just copy command C command V and then command C command V All right so I'm gonna just I'm gonna actually teach you something really nice uh, today uh, it's something called it's called stack views so what it is is uh, it's gonna so we need to set constraints on here but in order to set the constraints uh, easier we're gonna use stack view. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and highlight everything you can just go ahead and click on here and hold shift and click while holding shift click on the other one click on the other one and you can just say embed in see uh, embed in or you can go here on top and go to editor and then embed in stack view all right and then one thing we want with stack view is we want it to be a vertical so you click on here and it's going to be vertical okay and we want it to also inside it another stack view because we have um, we want this to be horizontal so this two, and then you can go again and embed in, embed in, where is editor, okay, embed in, stack view, and want it to be horizontal, so that one is horizontal, okay, and also this one, we hold shift and shift on the item name, item type, and you go editor, and you go again, embed in stack view okay and change it to horizontal all right so now we want to be able to have it to align uh, so we go to the stack view the top stack view and i want it to be um fill okay that's correct and i want it to alignment to be i want it to be a little um so I, actually i don't have it constraint set so I need to set the constraint so I want it to be um, let's see uh, I want it to be maybe can drag it over okay and let's see I can go and click on here and uh, move it 
Just set the constraint so we set something around 20 on the left, and then uh, we're gonna set on the left that much. We want it to be center horizontally. So let's go ahead and set the center. So, this is how you set the center you click on this um, kind of blocks on top of each other, and um, you set the center horizontally. So, I want it actually vertically. And you have to click on the stack view first, and then click on this, and then vertically and add. So, that centers it vertically. Now, I want to be able to be left a little. Okay, left, and I need it the bottom. And I uh, add constraints, and I'm done. So, and I want something on top so it can stretch. So it's a five on the uh, top, and that stretches it too much. So I need to remove this bottom one, and. Uh, Alright, so it's missing one on the Y. Okay, so it doesn't have the Y. So you can look at the constraint by clicking on the stack view and then go to this uh, ruler. And you see that we have a leading and we have a line center. We have a top space of five. And we have a, we don't have a Y. We just have a top and not a bottom so that's why it's saying you need a Y uh, bottom zero okay that's fine because it's conflicting now it's saying stack your bottom so we don't need to center this we have a bottom saying so we can move the center and still needs the Y. So go ahead and we click on this. And so we do have leading, and we have bottom, which is the super view. And we have the we need like a. Let's remove the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> and increase the top. Crink is you can just double click on it and say like 20. And that's good. And I want a space between those two. So in order to have space between them, I can just put the spacing equal to, I can say, yeah, like that. Okay. And I want to change the name, and I want some spacing in between them. Like in order to have the spacing in between them, I can just, uh, I know that my stack view is, let's see if I type what happens. It uh, spans, and that's good. So I can go ahead and say item name, item name, and command Z, placeholder, Do we need something on the side though? Let's add a constraint to the left. Let's make it uh, this length five. The right, I'm sorry. I okay, guess good because I don't need this placeholder here. And now I don't need. I don't need this either. 
see. So let's go ahead and the type name and type name. Name and type. And I'll type to name. Gets messed up there because it doesn't know how big the container is. Just go ahead and just do name. Can do the distribution fill equally, fill proportionally, fill proportion, and this one we can change it to five. And uh, so we have this correctly, and what is the thing hanging this? Let's hold on, okay. it doesn't have a bottom now top leading and we need a bottom we can just say five okay and uh, Let's go with it also because it's telling me this priority thing is basically telling me this this thing is bigger than this so it's pushing it down um, so what we can do is just change this space in between them and the uh, spacing is okay fill proportion we said just fill equally fill equally is better and leading and that fixes it all right so we got the cell now and then we gotta make it the call uh, call item cell so we're going to go ahead and click on this and go to type in your type and I'm going to change it to item cell. Okay, there you go. Now I have my item cell and now I need to connect its, um, its uh, name and label type. Name, I don't care about that, but this is a label which is, we need to change that to name. And type name. What I'm to my other two. I just need the. Uh, I just needed the label, so I need to add my uh, text back. Lost it. I need to add it here. Type on it. The name and label. And this one has also spacing. We can just put spacing here. And we can also fill. Proportionally or fill equally. Equally is better. Okay, so we have label there and we have this. Okay, so we're good, and we need to now add this uh, connect to the code. So we're gonna go to recent, and we're gonna go to item cell, and that's it. So we got the name field. So go ahead and I want this label to be the name. Go like that and we say name, um, label, connect, and this one's a type label. And type label, connect. So, what's going to happen now is we need to use this as our cell. 
in order to in order to use it we go back to the and say the cell right here we just need to uh, custom and the cell is I don't need this anymore actually because I don't need to use that but I'm going to use a custom cell I'm going to go here and I need to register this cell with the table view and in order to register it we have to say um, so we need to say a creative method called register cell custom cell name register custom cell and say table view register okay we go say register we have a nib so we have a UI nib and our nib name is item cell and it's in the bundle when you say nil it's in the main bundle and the reuse identifier we're gonna use cell and that's it. So we're going to register it. We're going to register it when we actually re register the custom cell. And we also have to. Uh, okay, so now we want to be able to inside the cell update its um, name label and type label. And in order to do that, we have to have a method here called update update uh, data or something like that and it's gonna say name label dot text we're gonna pass in remember we have function to name string and type and we're gonna say the type is item type and name label is name and name label uh, type label is a text equals i type dot raw value remember if i'm gonna you know, let's see let's see if we're gonna actually whenever we we're just gonna pass a text here so we're good we don't need to do that but i'm just gonna say actually just string here and then the type so that's it that's it so this is how you make a custom cell and we're gonna go ahead and uh, use that custom cell but we need to also do this right here so since we're doing cell we have to say as and our item cell So and that becomes item cell, and this becomes now we have to call our. So now this is gonna be um, let name and let type, and we're gonna go ahead and call our cell dot update data. We need to run it actually we need to go back to it and press command s to save it and go back to the view controller and say update data and then say name and a type but those are all um, so i'm going to call that say that one because it doesn't have the value and we're going to return cell uh, so cell right now is optional uh, so in order to we you know that we need to say if we don't have the cell just and give me a cell that's empty all right so I think we're good we have everything we need let's go ahead and run the code Grocery, 
Oops, let me re add item. And it's crashing. So let's see what we did wrong. It's saying that the uh, reason item cell cannot be found and name name item cell cannot be found. So it's telling me that there's no name item cell because it probably misspelled it. There you go. Let me spell this. So we say item capital cell. And that's try that. There you go. So your name and title it's spacing and remove that spacing. Let's go back to the nib. There's a spacing uh there's a spacing out. We'll fix that. The name is needs a spacing too actually. Let's put spacing name. Well how many spacing it has? It's ten so we'll just 10 spacing right here. This has 10 for fill equals, so we'll do something. Fill equals. There we go. So we have uh, a to-do listing now. We can actually make the cells a little bigger. Uh, so we can go to the storyboard and you go to uh, the table view and see if we have the cell row can uh, size. We don't have it here, so we have to do it ourselves in our um, v controller table view our row height equals ui automatic generator dimension ui table view automatic dimension and i wanted to be see if uh, So this would give it the automatic dimension. It's still, uh, so I want it to be maybe 50. Item name is what? Uh, grocery. It's two hundred fifty. Yeah, gets more. Uh, Item name grocery grocery. All right, so we can remove this by just pressing delete. There you go. So you can add more items. Let's say go home to your mom. Add items. Go go to your dad. Add item and. Uh, see um it won't fit <laughs> then um uh, so put spacing let's see remove the spacing uh, let's go remove the spacing and the nib Just make this 
here. And make this filter. Probably need to add like a little spacing here. Just maybe some two pixels. Alright, so you have a to-do list app and you can add to the list of what you want to do. Do homework, homework, so this is a homework thing. And then we can do shopping, shopping, and then you can basically remove that. We probably want to remove this. So there you go. So this is a, we finished our to-do list app and we can actually add more stuff to it if we wanted to. But uh, I think this is pretty good for beginner to-do list app. And if we, we're gonna do a chatting app next.